Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about AMC Entertainment. We've got quite big news in terms of AMC, what could really change you know, the whole outcome for AMC. We could really see the short squeeze happening. We could see AMC go up to 100 and even more. So in this video, I'm gonna cover about you know, what the breaking news is and then the technical analysis of AMC. So if you find this video useful or liked it, make sure you press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys think about AMC and comment down below what you guys want to see next. Firstly, you know, let's go on with the usual and it's on stock on tracker and it's just looking at kind of the data for AMC at its current price, 39.17. One thing to note, we are up 3.05% as of yes, so in comparison to yesterday's closing. So, you know, everyone thought that we were going to see, just keep on seeing it tumbling and tumbling. I said that, you know, we are really going to hold the support and you can see today we are holding it very well. More on the technical analysis later on in this video. So going back on Stone Contractor, Tracker, you know, AMC, 400,000 shares available to borrow. It's 100,000 down from yesterday. So, you know, not much has changed. You know, there hasn't been too much shorting happening. So, you know, that's all good. I think, you know, the whole news coming out, I feel like institutions kind of got a head start because they knew something like this would come out maybe and that's why there's been a decrease in kind of what's been happening so if we go down here you know we look at something that is um the short percentage 39.3 relatively high but still you know in a way is relatively low as well so i think it's we're still in the lower end um you know the short percentage has been decreasing and it's why i say because they might have known what kind of this breaking news is i'll be covering it in a second but i feel like this breaking news has an effect to it but maybe that's why they have been kind of slowing down in terms of shorting um, AMC. But the dark pool percentage, so obviously it's gone down a tiny bit. So 71.5 to 69.7, you know, 69 were hit. But, you know, it's gone down, but it, it's not gone down enough to have an effect. You know, the dark pool percentage is still so huge. And, you know, this just really makes such an unfair trading place for us retail investors. However, you know, we are coming out on a, you know, coming out on top. You know, we are winning in comparison to what we had, you know, a couple of months ago, three, four, five months ago. What we have now, you know, is a blessing and we are winning and we will stay winning. But, you know, I'll talk about kind of what is um, up. But one thing I thought was quite funny. Kramer says meme stocks should be offered at a casino instead of the Wall Street. This is the problem. When we're winning, we're um, denigrated, ridiculed, and we are foolish. No more. Retail traders of the future, we are the whales. And, you know, this is so true. De a lot of people are thrown off because, you know, big financial analysts going, oh, AMC, blah, blah, blah. This stock is a dumb stock. That stock is a dumb stock. But, you know, when, when you understand that, you know, a stock that isn't in their control will be a stock that is a dumb stock and because of that they want to throw you off guard uh, obviously to get you um off that stock and so they can get it back in control and so you know when people when you see things like this make sure you understand that these guys um are just mad because they don't think what you're doing is right they think what we're doing with the dumb money we're stupid we can't possibly be right so i think that's very stupid but you know enough of that so kind of going on and so this is the nscc and it prevents naked shorting and ftd so this is a big thing um if you guys want to look more about it you know feel free to there's an article there's articles everywhere this guy has summed it up perfectly you know when i make these videos i want to make sure i cover the most information in the shortest amount of time and you know this guy has covered it perfectly so i am going to be using his article so thank you very much um arsenic 17 for even posting this um you know, again, I'm, I'm going to be reading what he says and I'm going to give him my own opinion on it. And I think it's key. So NS, AMC is about to start climbing again. What is going on with the NSCC essentially cleans the slate for retail investors. The AMC community will now be able to drive AMC share price without illegal tactics in the stock market. All the opposition that prevented AMC entertainment stock from reaching $100 per share is no longer able to drive the stock down. The momentum that retail investors create moving forward will result in higher and quicker upswings in AMC stock. Breaking away from $30 to $40 range, this could very well be the last draw for hedge funds and short sellers. There's nothing after plan Z except to close their positions because things just got a whole lot tougher for them. All retail investors need to gamma squeeze AMC at this moment is to bulk up on the stock. While the AMC community has 
already been doing this. Short sellers only increase the dark pool trading usage like I've shown um, in this here. The This illegal black backdoor has allowed hedge funds to heavily short AMC stock through a rinse and repeat process retail investors have no control over. While the NSCC is stepping in to take accountability for every transaction being made in the market, NSCC will act as a third party to oversee transactions between lenders to stabilize the stock market. This means the market will be, not be as volatile, and this is all possible to due to proposal NSCC 2021-010, but more on that in a moment. And so pretty much, like it says, you know, it's a third party and it just makes it cleaner. And, you know, what this does is obviously you guys understand that retail investors Whilst we are combined, you know, whilst we apes are combined as well, we have more capital to leverage in a way, we still don't compare to some of the bigger firms out there. You know, they could easily bring up, you know, a few billion and that would, you know, slow us down because we don't have that much capital. And, you know, they also have different taxes that they, that they use. Dark pool, for an example, you know, we can't possibly access the dark pool whilst they can, which obviously already makes, you know, the playground um, unfair. But you know what this does is obviously it makes it all uh, cleaner, respectively cleaner, and it gives us a bigger chance. So when we do, you know, stack up the money again, when we do have that momentum going for AMC again, whilst we will be seeing, you know, resistance to slow us down, it is going to be um, proper resistance rather than the before where they do anything to stop us. Now it will just be maybe, you know, certain price action, certain fundamentals, but you know, compared to the before of what they can do, this is a lot better. Right now is the time retail investors will have to go on the fence if they are to drive AMC stock price back up. By drive AMC stock up, the short sellers are negative millions of dollars on paper. And, you know, talking about how they have raised margin requirements for both AMC and GME stock. JP Morgan, on the other hand, is implementing intraday margin calls up to seven times per day to ensure short sellers have enough cash to cover their positions. This is the most extreme conditions that they've ever been in. The, this is because the more money they lose on paper means the more money they expect to fund their margin accounts with. So, you know, this is super good. Before they were able to short the stock down to avoid immediate liquidation, now proposal NSCC 2021-010. Prohibit short sellers from creating failure to deliver as well as naked shorting. Um, you know, and there's just a lot to cover here. Um, I will go on a bit more. You know, the NSCC is going to watch every transaction. The NSCC just took away the enemy's weapons and now it's time for retail investors to charge. Hedge funds have been stripped from their power to manipulate AMC through naked shorting FTDs. Short sellers now cannot take another round of momentum. The momentum could cause immediate liquidation by broker if margin counts fall short of requirement. And so, you know, this is huge. Another thing I do apologize. This means they can no longer short AMC stock in extreme measures using naked shorting like they have been the FTDs. All core options in the money should now be properly executed, which will result in gamma squeezes that will drive up AMC stock up, breaking the $30.40 ranges. So what that means is obviously you know, one thing that was always being kind of what everyone was confused to one, when AMC obviously shorts up from 1450 to, you know, 7262, not whilst there were shorts being liquidated, they weren't being, you know, um, there were no consequences for them. And a lot of people were obviously wondering why. Um, obviously, it's with the leverage that they have, is with the taxes they can use. But now, you know, with this, when we do see another kind of momentum like this, they had they need money to cover their um, losses. If they don't, then the positions will get liquidated. Um, and obviously when it does, that's when the squeeze will happen. And so that's essentially what this whole NSCC is about. And, you know, there's more on this NSCC um, in this article. You guys can feel free to watch it. I feel like I've explained most of it. And it's really just about how now, um, you know, it prevents what before, would have already, you know, had the NSCC proposal, you know, happened during June, I feel like we could have seen AMC reaching a hundred dollars or even more. I do apologize, but um, because it was only proposed now, you know, now is our next attempt kind of coming in for AMC. So going with the technical analysis of AMC, you can see here we do have a triangle forming here. We have a support here. And, you know, normally when you see a triangle like this, it is kind of in a way 50-50. People wait for the breakout in either way. So either it breaks out of the top side, making the bullish momentum, or it breaks out from the bottom side and it makes a bearish momentum. However, right now, everything is leading for a bullish 
breakout. So fundamental to the side, whilst I know I just said that talked about all of that on NSCC, whilst you've got a register that is a huge bullish momentum for AMC. So I am, you know, obviously using that. However, we're talking pure technical analysis. I'm not a financial advisor, so do take my opinions with a grain of salt. But we can see here, there's a lot of things building up for us. Firstly, we have the support level here. This support, there is no resistance in the upper level apart from this triangle below the resistance for kind of a bearish breakout is firstly this whole support area over here which has been extremely strong as you can see in the past few days um and it's worked very well we have a market pattern of a high a low and that we're trying to form a new higher high and so there's two things firstly the support level that is acting extremely strong the market pattern of a high a low um, a higher low into a new higher high and then you know compared to the one thing of, you know, one resistance, which is the tiny triangle resistance. And so even in technical analysis, we have huge bullish momentum coming in for us for AMC right now. And so that's why, you know, if you guys are thinking of about what, whenever to get into AMC, consider, you know, this level, I do think this level is a very nice level to get into AMC. If you haven't been in AMC and you um, want to get into AMC, if you're already in AMC, you know, you just wait for this whole um, short squeeze to happen, for the squeeze to happen, and then you'll make all your money back. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys think about AMC. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Other than that, enjoy your day.